how to automate task creation in asana from notion database so notion is a web based note taking application where you can manage your task manage your teams and even create a to do list and asana is also a very popular project management software and in this video we want that as soon as the task details are added into the notion the same task should be created automatically into asana as well so that i don't need to manually copy each task from notion database and create the very same task manually into the asana so if you also want to automate your task creation process from notion to asana come with me and i'll show you that how you can set this kind of automation for yourself so this is my notion application and here i have created a page with the name task list for team members and here i have also added a task details and i want that the same task should be created automatically into the asana as well mm -hmm. for that i will have to firstly build a connection in between notion and asana and i am going to do that with the help of pavli connect well it is an amazing integration and automation software via which you can easily connect multiple application and automate your task and you can also reach here by typing pabli.com/connect and i will also attach this link into my description box for your reference and now if you are a new user of pabli connect you will have to sign up for free and in the free account you will also get free task every month in your account in order to test these kinds of amazing automation well i am already an existing user of pabli connect so that is why i have clicked on sign in then clicked on access now and this is how finally i have reached to the dashboard of pabli connect and after reaching here you will have to click on this blue button that is create workflow and simply provide a random name to your workflow to your automation so i am pasting a name as when task is added okay let me add is also when task is added in notion create same task in asana okay and after providing the name i am going to click on this create button and this is how you will reach you will find two boxes in front of you okay so these are trigger and action so trigger means when this happens action means do this so whenever this happens do this understand with an example also whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application let's say send an email via gmail application and here according to our use case whenever the task is added into the notion application automatically create a task in asana application okay so this is how you need to always select the applications in which you are building an automation and here i am building an automation in between notion and in between asana so that is why i am going to select the same application well i am going to select this application later okay coming here now you will have to select these trigger event okay so i want that as soon as a new database item is created created into the asana those details should be captured via pabli connect basically this automation should start trigger so that is why i am going to select the same trigger event and now i am going to connect a notion with the pabli connect for which you will have to first select on add new connection simply click on this blue button that is connect with notion and from here exactly you will have to provide the access of your pages whatever you have created okay and i am already logged in into notion so that is why it is asking me for the permission directly okay so simply click on the select pages and here i will make sure that whether the page which i have created has been selected or not and yes it is tick mark that is the task list for the team members okay so simply click on allow access and this is how you will see the authorization will be successful and your notion application will be connected with the pabli connect and here you can see whatever the uh, pages i have created whatever the databases i have created into my notion all of them are visible here okay let me even show you from here also whatever i have created here the same are visible here since we are connected and i am going to select this particular page that is the test task list for the team members all right so i have selected the same now as soon as i will click on this button you will see how the most recent data which i have already added into my page 
into my database item the same database item will be fetched up automatically into the pably connect okay so assume that i am adding some different task here in that case that recent data will be fetched up automatically into the pably connect and here let me even show you the details one by you can see that the task name as find list of popular keywords in google sheets automation here you can see find list of popular keywords on google sheets automation okay let me show you other details as well all right so here we have that description also okay we need to do a research and find out a list of at least 100 popular keywords related to the google sheets automation for our video team and i have added the same description asking for the due date all right so coming back and here let us check whether i have received that due date or not and here we have the due date and lastly it was asking for the assigned to where i have currently not provided okay i will provide this detail later okay coming back to pably connect and the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between notion and pably connect is working absolutely fine now i am going to send these details to the asana application so that i can create i can use the same details and create a task into the asana and here i want to create a task so that is why i have selected that specific action even okay simply click on connect click on add new connection and just like we have connected notion with pably connect we are also going to connect asana with pably connect now okay and again i have already a logged in into my asana application so that is why it has taken those access uh, already automatically and this is how this uh, uh, asana will be connected with pably connect and here you can see asana is also connected okay and firstly it will ask you to select the workspace so i have a single workspace only which has got selected automatically now it will ask you to select the project id and here you can see i have in total three projects into my asana project let me show you all right so this is my asana's dashboard and here i am going to take you to my home section and here i have pably marketing team the first project and the second project okay all those projects are visible here and here in this particular video i would like to create my task into this particular project okay so that is why i have selected this particular project as the id but assume that you would like to provide you would like to add all these tasks into multiple projects okay in that case instead of selecting this project from the drop down we are going to map the id of these projects and the instruction for the same are already given and how you can provide this id firstly you will have to enable this mapping button so that that drop down value will be replaced basically it will disappear and this is how you can map the you can actually provide the uh, id of your project separated by a comma okay so i will take you to my asana project and let me first open one of my project and let me show you from where you can actually get the project id all right so you can get this project id from the url of your project okay so if i have let's say i have opened this pably marketing team project you can get the id of this project from the url simply copy this id and paste it here and uh, separated by comma this is how you can provide multiple project id but in this particular case i would like to create all the task into this specific project only so that is why i am going to select the same from the drop down on all right asking for the task name well i have already received the task name into my previous step so that is why i am going to provide the same and i don't even need to copy this data manually and paste it here i am going to map it and mapping is very simple inside pably connect simply click on this field and you will find the above data here in the drop down simply search for your value for your data okay so let me search for the task name and here we have the task name as the find list of popular keywords on google sheets automation okay so i have mapped this particular data asking for the notes basically the description so let me also search for the description okay so here we have the description okay you can see the task description okay i have mapped this particular value also okay so you must be thinking that what is this mapping which i am repeating in front of you again and again okay so whatever the details you are going to map will be replaced automatically 
exactly when this automation will work in next time in real time okay and whatever the details you are going to select manually you are going to provide manually those details will remain same okay so this is the difference in between mapping and in between providing the value manually and that is why mapping plays a very important role in our automation because with the help of this mapping only this automation is going to take place okay now it is asking for the due date and due on okay so i am going to fill this due on date okay so i remember that i have also taken the due date okay so i have mapped this value basically the date but firstly i'll have to read the instructions as well that due on takes a date with this particular format only okay so luckily i have the date into the same format so i don't need to change the format of this date but just in case if you had the very same date in some different format you can also change the format of your date using pably connect basically using the feature of pably connect that is date and time format of feature okay so what you'll have to do is simply add one more action step before your asana step uh, that is date and time format feature okay change your date and then map that new date format basically according to your format but currently in this particular automation i don't need to add that extra step okay now it is asking for the assignee so again i'm going to map the assignee from the drop down only and i want that whatever the task i am creating it should be done by this particular person okay select a user as an assignee so i have uh, assign i have mapped the assignee details okay i have basically added the value map manually okay asking for the follower and the tags okay so just i have just like i have told you about the project id in the similar way you can also provide the follower id separated by a comma and the text id separated by a via comma okay but in this particular automation i don't want to add the follower and the tags so i am going to leave these fields blank and then i am going to click on this button directly and you will see how the same task which i have created into the notion will be created into the asana as well and here you can see as soon as i have clicked on that button the same task has been created find list of popular keywords on google sheets automation and the assignee is admin at the rate publicdudes.com the due date is also the same and if i will click on this details you will see the same description must be added okay we need to do a research and find out a list and yes it is the same description okay so this is how now onwards every time someone is going to create a task basically someone is going to add the task details into your notion application the same task will be created into the uh, asana application but here you will have to notice that this automation will work in every eight hours okay so what will happen this trigger will check for new data in every eight hours okay so basically what will happen the system will go to the notion software and in every eight hours whatever the new data it will find out it will first capture that data into the pably connect and that then it is going to send the data into the asana okay so don't worry if you're not if your tasks are not being created in real time you will have to wait for few hours but don't worry about that your task will be surely created automatically you do not have to do anything manually once you have created this automation inside pably connect okay after that simply close pably connect sit back and relax and just in case if you want to access this automation i I will also attach the shareable link of my workflow into the description box okay simply click on this link and sign up into the pably connect and the same workflow will be cloned into your pably connect account that too for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pably connect you can ask your queries at forum.pably.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pably connect and for the latest updates of pably connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video